Saskatchewan's Dolphin Awareness Month. Most of us love and adore dolphins for several reasons. They make us happy, they're playful, and they are curious towards us humans. We would like to share with you some fun facts about dolphins and give you some fun images from our dolphin friends at SeaWorld Orlando. But before that, I would like to share with you a little bit about some dolphin encounters I've had in my life. When I was five years old, I got to be a participant in this dolphin show at SeaWorld San Diego. And I got to meet a two-year-old dolphin named Hutch. We had a lovely experience, and of course for a five-year-old, it was the most magical day ever. Fast forward, when we moved here to Orlando, Florida, I went to Discovery Co. for the first time. They have um, a dolphin swim experience that you can do there. And one of the dolphins that we got to work with, his name was Hutch. So I had to ask, was this the same Hutch that I had experience with in San Diego? Because a dolphin named Hutch isn't the normal. So it was, and I was very excited because it was my birthday. And Hutch actually delivered um, the birthday buoy to me. And it was always a very special moment to me. In the gift stores there, they sell these necklaces that have the flukes of each dolphin. And then their name is engraved on the bottom of the tail fluke. And so I have that necklace that says Hutch on it. It's very special to me and I will always treasure that. When we found out he was no longer at Discovery Cove, he actually was moved over to SeaWorld Orlando and put into the Dolphin Day Show because Hutch is a very unique dolphin. He has a lot of bent up, built up energy. And they also say a little bit like that ADHD type of personality. So he always has to be really motivated. They really want to challenge him because he is so intelligent. We went and watched the show um, and we were curious to know if the Hutch was at the show. And the trainer who I ended up speaking with was a trainer that was currently working with Hutch on a new behavior for the show. And he said, if you come back for the next show, I will do my best to be able to um, do like a small training session to show you what Hutch and I have been working on for the last six months. So we were so super excited. We've been following Hutch's life <laughs> since he was two years old. And to see the different stages that this dolphin has been in through his life is so amazing. And to witness him for the first time ever do his very first backspin in front of guests for the show. So that was uh, really unique and exciting. And of course, I'm gonna keep up and see what is going on with Hutch in the future. But that's a, a dolphin encounter that I had, you know, a dolphin that will always stick with me. So how do dolphins communicate? Dolphins make a variety of whistles, chirps, clicks, and squeaks to be recognized with other dolphins and communicate with them. They make these silly sounds by using their blowholes, which is like a nose for dolphins and it's located on top of their head. It allows them to bring air into their lungs and by using the muscles, they can control the air exiting their blowhole to make these sounds. When dolphins encounter new and strange dolphins, they perform an informal introduction ritual based on exchanging a series of these whistles. The whistles contain information like age, sex, health, and intent. So do dolphins sleep? Dolphins have to sleep, so how do they do this without drowning? Once all the socializing, play, and communication is over, dolphins love to rest. But they don't rest the same way humans rest. They rest by shutting down one half of the brain at a time. While one half sleeps, the other half is awake to keep the dolphin from drowning. Remember the blowhole on top of the dolphin's head? This helps prevent water from getting into their lungs when it is closed. Dolphins may float at the surface while sleeping or swim slowly to the surface every now and then for breath. Do dolphins play? Dolphins love to play. They like to jump and do acrobatic spins in the air. Ballnose dolphin can jump up to 20 feet in the air. They have been known to surf waves near the beach or follow the wake of a ship. They love playing with toys as well. This is why it is so important for us to keep our oceans clean, as dolphins do not always know how to tell the difference between a toy and food when it comes to trash. 
Are dolphins smiling at us? Most people know dolphins from the pictures of a bottlenose dolphin, which always seems to be smiling because of a slight upturn in the corner of their mouths. Other species of dolphins don't appear to smile in the same way. This is one reason why they appear to look so friendly to us, and we like them so much. The truth is, though, that dolphins are not smiling. They just happen to look that way. Dolphins don't really have a face in the way that humans do, and certainly don't use their face to express themselves. Thank you for tuning in today for some fun dolphin facts for Dolphin Awareness Month. And we do encourage you to actually go ahead and do your own research for yourself about dolphins and just learn a little bit more about these quirky characters of the sea.